If you're like me and have wanted to be able to create a game without having to learn any coding, then this is the video for you. I'm talking about the Sandbox, which is also the sponsor of today's video. Just a quick refresher on what the Sandbox is. The Sandbox is a 3D game engine that you can use to be able to create incredible games all without doing any of the dirty work required in other game engines. Once you publish your experience, anyone can play it and you keep 100% revenue share from anything you create. Once you click on the link in the description to go get the Game Maker, you'll be taken to this page. This is the Game Maker 0.9, which is the brand new update for the Game Maker that has so many new features that make it even more easy to create your very own game. Now, make sure you don't click get the Game Client because that's for playing games. We want to get the Game Maker for, well, making games. Here's a quick recap of the highlights. They've introduced a new visual scripting system, VIP access, power-ups, checkpoints, and teleports. And I'll be going over all this in my video today. So let's jump right in. So what I'm going to do right now is take advantage of this create from a template page. If we click on that right there, as you can see, there are a ton of different options for us to choose from. I've already created games that we can add on more to. So I have a very specific idea for my game. It's going to be about this little fish that is on land and is trying to reach the top of a mountain and everybody's doubting him but then he reaches the top and yay happy ending. So I want to look for some kind of like climbing a mountain thing. So I'm gonna just look through here see if I can find something and there it is only climb. This looks pretty good as you can see Platform your way up with your friends to track your personal highest point reached. That sounds pretty good to me. So I'm going to call this like Fish Climber. I'm really not sure. That just sounds like a pretty good name. Let's create experience now. So if you click play and see what's already there, it's a huge mountainy area. And it looks like there's a ton of things we can do. Right here, we can jump our way up. And on the left side, it shows you your best height and your current height, which is pretty cool. So if I were to fall down right here, and my personal best is still three, but I'm at zero right now. Our next step is to turn our character into a fish. And if we click on open asset library and then go to characters, as you can see, there are a ton of different options, but I am going to search for some kind of fish. Let's close up the asset library, click on player, and then instead of player's avatar, we're gonna choose custom avatar. By choosing custom avatar, we now have the option to change the avatar model to something different. And I'm gonna search for that fish, and now we're a tiny little fish. I tried out the red fish and realized that it was way too small, so I'm gonna change the fish. As you can see, that looks a little better, and it also looks really cool when we're swimming around in the ocean. Plus, he can do the obstacle course too, he's just a little small, so that's pretty cool. Well, let's remember what we were thinking about earlier. In my dream game, I want everybody to be doubting this little fish, telling the fish that they'll never be able to complete the obstacle course. And for that, we're gonna need a character. Now, to place down a character, what we're going to need to do is open the asset library, and we need to find some sort of character, and there's a ton. But there's a certain character that looked pretty good for the person making fun of this little fish, and I think that's Max. So first, I'm gonna click on him, and then we can close the asset library, and now we can place him down right in front of the spawn. If we play the game, we can see that he's right here, but we can't actually talk to him, sadly. We're gonna click on Max. Instead of citizen as his behavior, we're gonna make him an asker. And he's gonna say, haha, little fish, I bet you can't make it to the top of the mountain. And the fish is gonna say, I'll prove you wrong. Now here's the thing, we wanna make sure that answer two, three, and four are all marked blank. So now that we're in the quest menu, I want to create a new quest. And we're gonna call this Reach the Top because that's our goal, right? For unlocking quests, we want that to be set to auto unlock. But launch quest shouldn't be auto launched because we don't want to launch it right as soon as we get into the game. We want to launch it after we talk to Max. So we're gonna say requires message. And the message will be A1 because that's the message that's sent after we talk to Max. The quest type isn't a counter because that would be like collect 100 coins or something like that. So we want to also wait for message, but this message will be A2. And to complete it, we don't want it to be auto-completion. We want to require the message A2 as well. Don't worry about A2. We'll add that in later into the game, but we need this to be ready for when that happens. After completion, we don't want to just send a message, but we want to actually end the game entirely because we've completed the quest. So now let's click play and talk to Max. 
I'll prove you wrong. And as you can see, now we get the quest to reach the top. But if we actually complete this obstacle course and make it all the way to the top, nothing happens. So we need to make a... So we need to put Max up there as well, so that when we talk to him, he's like all surprised, and then we win the game. So the way that we'll make the illusion that Max travel all the way up there is by duplicating Max and having there be two Maxes. One down here and one up at the top of the mountain. So let's click on Max and then hold down on Control D. Now as you can see, there are two Maxes. So I'm going to move him all the way up and I'll put him on the end of the obstacle course, which is pretty far in. And there we go. So we need to change his astral properties to something else. His question should be, what? You made it? Maybe I was wrong about you. I'm sorry. And our answer will be, just because I'm small doesn't mean I'm not cool. But when it says A1 message sent, we want to set that to A2 down here. So now that we have our quest and we went over and talked to Max, we have the reach the top quest. Our next step is to actually make it up to that point and complete this obby. So I'm gonna really quickly time lapse through that and make it to the end. And there we are, here's Max. Let's go talk to him. What? You made it? Maybe I was wrong about you. I'm sorry. Just because I'm small doesn't mean I'm not cool. And if you click this option, it should say, Victory, Fish Climber. And then we've won the game. Now one of the coolest things about the sandbox is that we can actually make it look more realistic. So let's click Gameplay and then go to Ambience. And now we can select the lighting. And for this, I think desert fits best. And as you can see, look at how much it just changed. Music, choose whichever one that you think sounds good. And in the ambience, I'm gonna do desert. And you can select what, and you can play around with that and select whatever you want. Now with all these changes, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like with all the sound and all of the new shaders that are on. So I want to have a few things to make this game even better. First off, if we head back into gameplay and go to camera, we can change it from third person to angled, which I think looks way better, but there are a ton of other options like first person, top down, and just so many more settings to play around with. But for me, I think angled looks the best. If I load in, as you can see, you can kind of see it from like a top down point of view without it being directly on top of you, which I think just looks pretty good. Another thing that I want to add is a little timer that goes off when you start the challenge. So for that, I'm going to go to Gameplay, Game Rules, Presets, and then Time Trial. So now that we have that, we want to change out a few things because this in and of itself does not work unless we make a few adjustments. First off, where it says Start Timer, the message should be A1 because that means that it will start as soon as you accept the quest. And this will go for a value, and then we're gonna need to change message amount to fixed value and choose how many seconds it should be for. So I'm gonna do something like 500, and by the way, this does convert into minutes and seconds, I'll show you that in a sec. And the message to stop the rule should be A2, because when we talk to this guy and complete the game, it actually sends out the message A2. So we're gonna need two things to be changed, First off, in the show info, we want to change that to A1, and we want it to be a fixed value of true down here so that the game knows to show the amount of seconds left. And we also need it to display the timer itself, so we'll set the exact same thing, A1, fixed value, true. So make sure you copy these values down so that yours looks just like mine. And now if we click play and talk to Max, receive the quest, you should see a timer down there at the bottom with a certain amount of time to complete this obstacle course. Now that's really cool, but there's a few other things that would make this game even better. I want to add some kind of like power up so that when we go through, we can collect like some kind of shoe that gives you some speed. And yeah, I know that the character is a fish, so it technically doesn't need shoes, but we're doing it anyway. Here's what we're going to need to do. First, we're going to need to open the asset library over here and go to equipment and find something that looks pretty good for a shoe. I found something that looks pretty good and it's called the basic pants. So I'm going to place them 
right here and then click on the move tool that way we're not gonna place anymore and just kind of have them facing the correct way having this here doesn't make it a power up we need to change something about it so we're gonna select the move tool and we're gonna click on our boots and then we're going to go to components not behaviors but components and add a power up component which is all the way at the bottom but if you can't find it then you can just search so let's click on that and now we can modify all of the different things about it here right now it's its attack power but this isn't a fighting game so i think we'd do better with speed now i want to make the percentage give you 30% extra speed and the duration I think I'll put it on a minute so now let's click play we're going to need to make our way over to the boots so let's do that so here it is and we're just gonna walk onto it and there we go plus 30% speed and look at how much faster I'm going wow this is really fast oh and look at how much faster we are going wow that is super fast. And you can even see if you look next to your name at the top left, how much time is left before the power up runs out, which I think is also a pretty cool feature. So I'm gonna exit play mode. And there's one more thing that I think would make this pretty cool. And that is to create a teleport. So I wanna have like a hidden Easter egg for me and some of my friends that are playing this game to kind of cheat to get the high score, if you will. So I'm gonna search in the asset library for a blue circle. And really, it can be any of these circles because I think they look pretty cool. Keep in mind, it does not have to be a circle, by the way. And it's just gonna be like hidden in plain sight right here. And then I'm gonna put a yellow circle farther in to the obstacle course like all the way over here maybe and what i want to do is when i enter this blue circle it will take me over to the yellow circle so to do that i'm going to click on the blue circle and then add a component and it's going to be called teleport and then it's spawning point we're going to set that to yellow circle because that's the other one that's in this game and now let's click play and try this out so here's the blue circle and if we walk over to it and hold down on E, bam, it just took us to the yellow circle. Isn't that cool? I think it is. So now I think that we have a fully finished, pretty cool game. Of course, there's always more that we can add, but I think this is good for now. So I'm going to go over to this button at the very top that says publish, and we're going to share in gallery. What this does is make it so that anybody can play this game. We're going to name the experience. We're going to name it Fish Climber. Prove everyone wrong. And we're gonna click share and now the game should be published and then other people can play it i want to show you some experiences that were made on the sandbox engine using this new update that are really cool right now i'll be showing you a game that was made in the sandbox game maker it's called legend of the miners let's try it out hey Avalanche channel grandpa's upstairs he's waiting for you all right so it looks like that's grandpa let's go talk to him dear evan lane channel i'll tell you a story the map in the chest I was young, and we discovered that under the village, there were a lot of precious stones, and then we opened up a mine. The mine was rich, but it was also inhabited by evil elves who guarded a great treasure. Unfortunately, we could not get to the core. The elves stopped us, and the great treasure is still there. I'd be proud if you could recover it. Alright, so now we're back, and we have a job now. Dress up as a miner. Find all the wearables to start the treasure. Okay, hold C to crawl. Good to know. Wait, is that a key? Okay, I'll take the key. Looks like something we're gonna need anyway. So we need to find a miner outfit with a bunch of different things that we can mine. Okay, there's a pickaxe. That's one out of the five things that we need. That's good, that's good. All right, what's outside? What's this guy talking about? There's a trap door down there, but I've lost the key. Maybe it's in the attic. Okay, so there's like a trap door right here that takes us into the sewers. And we're gonna need to find that trap door. Or we're gonna need to find the key to the trap door, sorry. So there's a trap door down there, and we need to find the key. And I think I just found it. Here's the gold box. Oh, whoa, that is cool. Okay, hang on. I think I need to like jump up at the right time. Yes, we got it. Okay, click E to interact. We're gonna talk to the wardrobe now and get some more gear. There we go. There's the uh, armor. Help us. Oh, gosh. Whoa, I gotta run. I gotta run. Okay. Hardly took any damage. That's good. Good luck in the mine. Don't forget to pick up the protective helmet. It'll help you. Oh, wait. There it is. All right. Helmet to help me out as well. Wait, who's this beaver? Hello, friend. It's very dark in the mine. A lantern could be useful. Certainly, I'll need it. Oh, wait. 
Yes, there we go. Okay, we got a lantern too. That'll help. I guess it's not necessary, but it could help. Wait, what's that up there? Okay, pants. We're still missing one thing though. Okay, it says it's down there, so let's go. Wait. Yes, there we go. We have everything we need. Okay, our next quest right now is to speak with the last miner. Where, who's that? It's just a dead end right here. Yes, we do. We gotta mine our way through. All right, here we go. Mining our way through, getting to the end. Is the last miner like at the end of this little like area? Wait, oh, it tells you. Okay, so we know how far we are from the quest because if you check the bottom left corner, they'll see that he's 36 meters away. And every time that we got closer, we're closer to finishing our quest. Where's he? Is this him? Yes, be careful. Beware of snakes, rats, pirates, and evil elves. I will be careful. Talk to me. You stumble upon four different minerals, 15 red rubies, 10 green emeralds, six blue sapphires, and three purple gems. Find them along the way. Good luck. Okay, we gotta collect the gems. Okay, gotta make this jump. Oh, I missed the jump. All right, give me a second try, guys. Give me a second try. There you go. Jump, and there we go. Okay, we got one of the gems that we needed. There's none underwater, I don't think. We're gonna need to make our way across this obstacle course. Okay, I got this. I got this. First jump, second jump, third jump, and oh! This game is literally just trolling me right now. Whoa! The water like split into two halves. Is that grandpa? These rock blocks can be destroyed, okay? Whoa, grandpa, where'd you go? I guess you were just there to help me for a split second. Thanks, grandpa. 9-3, is that what I think it is? It's not valuable enough, but this one is. There's two. Uh-oh, someone died here. Wait, is that a rat? No, go away. Ah, oh, there's so many of them. They're all attacking me. Give me the ruby and let's go. Whoa, where am I? Wait, what does that say? Something bad about to happen? Danger zone. Oh, gosh. Grr. Get to the main hall back here. Oh, here. This way? Wait, give me that. Okay, now run. Gold miner. Turn on the switch. Why are you just standing there? Oh, I gotta take down this elf. Who do you think you are? Get back. Switch near the excavator. Got it. I don't even need it. I'll take you down myself. Check me when you have the five pieces. Wait, what five pieces? Oh, it's missing some... Com the excavator is missing some components. We have to look for it in the three cart race. We need a golden pickaxe of some sort. Whoa, defeat the boss. Where did that come from? Okay, so we need to go back here now. Back some more. Oh, he just heals you. Okay, I'm getting healed. That's great. It's perfect. Oh, I see. So we have to get through all the dungeons to be able to get the things we need to escape. If you guys want to try out this game some more, then you should check out Legend of the Miners and play it. It's super fun. Anyway, you guys, I really do recommend going to the description and checking out the Game Maker and creating an experience. It really will only take 10 minutes to create an amazing game like this. Anyway, you guys, that'll be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, then make sure to smash that subscribe button and stop the bell. Don't miss out on any of those new videos. But anyway, you guys, I'll be seeing you all next time. Bye!